with high temperatures, sandstorms, fog, and salty ocean winds. The arid desert climate of Oman is less than ideal for high voltage equipment. Oman is located on the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula. It's rich in oil, the country's main source of income. One of the oil and gas companies is PDO, Petroleum Development of Oman. PDO Petroleum Development of Oman is the largest producer of oil and gas in the country. PDO has its own power generation system with uh, more than 20 substations around the country. PDO uh, are looking after 132 kV systems, which is our own uh, PDO network, and we are covering more than uh, 3,000 kilometers of uh, this overhead line system. Traditionally, PDO has installed air-insulated switchgear with porcelain insulators in their substations. Most of the oil fields and substations are located in the desert area, where the environment is harsh. There are problems with sandstorms, salty ocean winds, fog, and temperatures reaching up to 55 degrees Celsius. When the fog starts in the early morning and there is a wind with the sand, it will stack the sand with the fog with our apparatus, such as uh, isolators. In desert climates, when the fog comes in the evening and the night, it condensates on the surface of the insulator and dissolves the salts that are deposited on the surface. This might cause flashover in the substation. So they can affect our equipment, our bus bar, because of the bad weather, it can trip all substation. In the past, PDO was using porcelain as the insulator for their high voltage equipment in the substations, which uh, caused a lot of problems. They had a lot of failures of the equipment and flashovers which caused a lot of blackouts. Blackouts are not an option. We went uh, on with the Sultan Qaboos University here to carry out sort of a research of a comparison of different products, like the use of uh, porcelain insulators, uh, glass insulators, uh, composite insulators, where we are talking about the silicon rubber, and uh, the uh, outcome of these uh, insulators proved to us that the use of silicon rubber was uh, superior compared to all other uh, products. ABB was contacted and supported PDO in order to look into the problems which they were facing. We were very much uh, pleased to uh, start embarking with the, uh, modifying or changing those product specifications and start using all these facilities with the silicon and uh, rubber insulators. And ABB come up with a standard specification for the outdoor equipment such as the circuit breaker instrument transformer using high quality polymer insulators which uh, solve a lot of the failures which they were facing in the past in, the, in, in their substations. And now these products are used as a standard product in PDO uh, with more than 85% of installation in PDO network. One of the many good properties with silicon rubber is its hydrophobic properties. That is the ability to form water drops on the insulator surface instead of a water film. Under polluted conditions, low molecular weight siliconols will diffuse from the silicon rubber up through the pollution layer and encapsulate it. Even under very polluted conditions, it will keep its hydrophobic properties. With the old porcelain uh, isolator, uh, we must wash it two times uh, yearly. But with the new ABB uh, isola uh, isolator, no need for washing anymore. The, the use of these silicon, uh, silicon compound insulators um, has resolved a lot of our problems. We have reduced a lot of uh, flashovers and now we are very happy with the, such kind of products. Now when we used to replace with ABB, I mean, the life has come easy in the UFO maintenance, reliability of cycle breaker, and the way when you do the maintenance of cycle breaker is very easy. What I like about ABB breaker, it's very easy to maintain. For all those products which were delivered from day one with the manufacture of the silicon rubber, we have never had any problem so far, and we are very pleased with that.